of the day is brought to you by AirAsia. Connect to over 130 destinations across Asia, Australia and beyond with the world's best low-cost airline. Now everyone can fly. So our headliners are nine years apart. The proud American Cerrone is taller by one inch at a lofty 6-1, but the Brits, Edwards, will have the slight one inch reach advantage. For the main event introductions, we hand it over to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. Our three judges scoring this contest at Octagon side are Howie Booth, Evan Field, and Charlie Keach. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Leon Roberts. And now, this is the moment UFC fans watching around the world have been waiting for. Live from Singapore, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. A big martial artist holding a professional record. 15 wins, three losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Birmingham, England, Leon Rocky Edwards. And now introducing his opponent. Fighting out of the red corner. A Muay Thai kickboxer holding a professional record. 33 wins, 10 losses, one no contest. He stands six feet one inch tall, weighing in at 171 pounds. Fighting out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, by way of Denver, Colorado, USA, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Okay, gentlemen, you both know the rules, you both know what I expect. Protect yourself at all times, follow my instruction at all times. If I ask for a break, I expect a good, clean break. Fight hard, fight fair, fight clean. If you want to touch gloves, do so now. Well, there was a lackluster bump of gloves there from Leon Roberts, offered out by Donald Cowboy Cerrone. And there is the young contender in the biggest fight of his life, Leon Rocky Edwards against the veteran campaigner, Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Okay, the Fight Club is brought to you by AirAsia. Connect to over 130 destinations across Asia, Australia and beyond with the world's best low-cost airline. Now everyone can fly. Oh, there's the body kick. I felt like Cowboy was hurt from that early. I feel like the knee connected to the solar plexus. He looked a level change like he did against Robbie Lawler. But he, he moved on to the nice outside low kick. I had the pleasure of going out to Birmingham and watching Leon Edwards in camp, and boy, did he look good. Very slick striking, ground game just as good as well, Dan. And he's really enjoying this opportunity. He doesn't seem phased at all by the main event responsibilities. Really seeing this as the key to opening up his career towards the higher echelons of the welterweight division. The thing he kept saying all week is that this doesn't feel any different to any other fight week. He's just doing a few more interviews. That's exactly right. It just goes to show how well he's taking it in his stride. He feels very confident, but that's partly because, well, maybe because he's very prepared for it, but partly because he feels ready for it. Yeah. This is his opportunity. This is the fight he's been calling for. Now, interestingly, clinched up against the fence. He's trying to collapse that lead leg, that, that knee shield that Cowboy's using at the moment. Leon Edwards actually looking to probably ground this fight and see if he can take top position. Good uppercuts. Some blood already from the eye of Cowboy. I think the knee got through, nice elbow. Edwards saying that a decision won't be enough tonight. He really needs to make a statement here. Cowboy with the spinning attack. He's pushing forward, punches but falls short. Leon Edwards calm and poised, coiled like a spring. Nice outside low kick for Cowboy again. This might be the first time in a few years, Dan, that we've seen Leon Edwards healthy coming into the octagon. Just before the Sabota fight, he got chicken pox. And if anyone heard any of the Robert Whittaker interviews about just how debilitating that is for an adult, 
it will put some perspective there for you. Good head position. He came out and fought, still got the win against a very tough German fighter. Nice, nice knees to the midsection from Leon Edwards. Great head position as well. Cowboy initiating the clinch this time. A few more tones to Cowboy's face with that injury and the elbow that followed. Nice work here by Edwards early. Cowboy's going to draw on all of his experience now. Look at this. All of his veteran techniques. He's wrapped the head. Let's see what Cowboy does with this. Wipes the blood from his eye and pushes forward. Not discouraged by a little Vino. Expect a body kick from Leon Edwards. Edwards is deceivingly oh. big. I think it's, that, it's very heavily muscled up top down and very, very big, like yes. in his physique. Absolutely. Nice straight right to the midsection from Cowboy. I think they may have re-measured the fighters as well before I got to that tail of the tape. Edwards is in fact the taller fighter. There's the head kick from Cowboy. Came too wide for Leon Edwards and he blocked it. Pouring at the lead hand. This is something that we saw in the uh, Vicente Luque fight. He paused at the lead hand to open up the body kick. Switch now to Orthodox. Cowboy has such an incredible catalogue of finishes. Whether it be from that head kick or indeed from a submission. Oh! Cowboy ate that well and pushes forward. So fast is Leon Edwards. The later this fight gets, the better it is for Cowboy. Leon Edwards got a lot of third round finishes, but Cowboy gets better as the fight goes on. Well, he told us that he thought that Rocky would come out quick, try and take him out, blast him out, I think his words were, in the opening round. Incredibly focused is Cowboy here, waiting on the attack of Leon Edwards. Lots of feints from Edwards, standing his ground confidently. Powerful inside low kick, Cowboy's got to watch, reaching for them. Leon Edwards will faint and throw up high. The Edwards camp wants to put Cowboy on the back foot. I very much saw that in the sparring that he was partaking in in the gym. He did it very well against the sparring partners, but Cowboy is a completely different kettle of fish. Oh, nice left hand. Beautiful footwork as well. He's been working with a new pad man for this one. Henry, a Muay Thai practitioner. In the water, in the water. Let's listen to the corners now with our corner cam brought to you by Hudson Shipping Lines. Shipping uh, and nice. Come on around down. It's an Aussie ass. Good breaths. In shape, brother. In shape. All right, that's a cowboy. Cross the body's working. Leg kicks are there. Got to box your so way. So let's in. take a look at this beautiful like body kick. shot there. That was a body kick twitch to a knee, and then the knee in the clinch from from uh, Leon Edwards was the thing that opened up the cut on Cowboy. Which, as you saw when the cut man took the bandage away, is is quite a deep cut. Fortunately, it's to the side of the eye, so it won't affect oh, Cowboy's yeah. vision. But that is a deep cut. Push the pressure. Keep UFC those Fight Night Cowboy vs Edwards is presented by Air Asia. Connect to over 130 destinations across Asia, Australia and beyond with the world's best low-cost airline. Now everyone can fly. So a bloodied and battered Donald Cowboy Cerrone steps out for round number two. Gentlemen, second round, you ready? You He's ready? been here Bring many times before, however. Rocky assumes the centre of the octagon very quickly, Dan. Yeah, run straight across, John. A, a show of dominance there, a show of control of the space. But you can never count Cowboy out. He's a tricky character. He disguises his high kick very well as well. Rick Story, Matt Brown will tell you about that. Yes, indeed. That's still one of my favorite combinations in all of fighting against Rick Story. Edwards is doing a good job of nice body kick. He's doing a good job, job of jamming Cowboy. As Cowboy moves forward, he's jamming him with a jab or with a forearm. He's stopping that forward momentum. That was a nice body kick from Cowboy, returned by Leon Edwards. Oh, nice elbows. Working that cut. 
laser focus here from Edwards, showing all the weapons in his armory tonight. He looks so loose as well. Yeah, it does not look like this main event spot has affected him. As we were talking about earlier, Dan, he's had the same bus, same walk, same octagon. A few Just more a, interviews. A few more interviews. <laughs> and I yeah. really enjoyed the way that he broke that down. It's as difficult as you want to make it sometimes. Good work by Cowboy, working to, the, working to the outside of the lead hand again, looking to probably... Oh, nice level change. Yeah, he saw the movement of Edwards, looking to cut that angle and move away. But he grabbed him precisely, and now he's forcing him up against the fence. This is where the wisdom of the older fighter comes into play. Knowing how to manage his conditioning, and knowing how to manage the octagon. I believe he came out early and tried to take down Medeiros as well, Dan, yes. in, in early exchanges. Watch where you bring those fingers, please. Watch his eyes, thank you. Chin straps fine, just watch Leon his eyes. Leon Edwards trying to, trying to dig an underhook in here. Cowboy burying his head, but that cut is leaking, painting the canvas red. Strong corner for Edwards with Tom Breeze in there and his brother Fabian. That is a lot of blood. Oh. And once again, Edwards is honing in on that eye. Beautiful knee to the midsection again. Works for a body kick. Halfway through round number two. Beautiful right hand from Cowboy there. Edwards looks like he's taking up to gas mark five. Oh, again. Slamming Sliding in. Over that there with that body kick. Oh, he got caught there, though. Rocked by the right hand of Cowboy. Edwards told me he was interested to see how the two different styles of kickboxing matched up. I posed the same question to Cowboy. He said I hadn't even thought about it. <laughs> a kick's a kick, a punch is a punch. Right. Cowboy working that, that uh, hot sidekick to the midsection. Maybe trying to use that as a, maybe a range finder, maybe a distance keeper for someone so quick. Leon Edwards, hands down, confident in the speed of his head movement to get him out of trouble. Working that elbow every time they break the clinch. Cowboy coming in with added motivation. He has a son on the way very, very soon indeed. Daxon. Again with the body kick. Nice flurry there from Cerrone. Looking to close the space down now. Fine. Sportsmanship there from Cerrone, stepping back, recognizing before the referee that it's straight low. Yeah, yeah, just stay there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Saw that, eh? Yeah, stay there. I know, totally accidental, sir. I know that. But you know, I just got to give him five minutes. Yes, I'm on his time, okay? Thank you. You tell me when you're ready, I'm on your time. Yeah, you got five minutes. Yeah, let me know when you're ready. You see, there it was a teep to the midsection Rocky, that just fell slightly corner. low. How do you corner? Yeah, it needs to be put into a neutral corner. Listen, listen. I can't be having sticking your finger up and stuff, all right? Please stay professional here for me, okay? But whether you're encouraged or not, stay professional for me. Edwards Tell me when reacting. you're ready. Try and there, keep I up. Spike. Look, glanced away, but warned by the referee. Yeah, six gun, for his gib conduct. <laughs> six gun Gibsons trying to tease him a little bit from outside of the octagon. And Leon Edwards, as he was walking towards, they just made eye contact and he, uh, uh, he, he expressed his feelings towards him, shall we say. <laughs> Cowboys expressing that left leg at the moment right into the ribs of Edwards nice knee to follow up Yeah, good level change again. Look at this strength from Leon Edwards, but the balance from Cowboy who took a knee to the midsection again They're gonna be super oh! oh! We just got a head kick as well When they broke whilst talking to the referee Leon Edwards claimed that Cowboy grabbed the hold of his glove there But he needs to stay concentrated, Dan. 
Time's we need up. to ignore all of the stuff on the periphery. Yeah. Because this is the biggest fight of his life. And Cowboy's getting back Chill into out. it after having a little bit of a wobble earlier. Phil Amundsen. Okay, Rocky, you're two up. Two up. Let's not let him back into this fight. Okay? Let's not let this motherfucker back into this fight. Okay? Let's get on our jab when we break away. So as you can see here, as they broke the clinch, Cowboy was holding on to the cuff of the glove. You can see fingers down. That's very Tim Kennedy, Joel Romero. That's a trick that's been used a few times in the past. A lot of the time people get away with it though. But it was a, it's a veteran trick. You know, sometimes you, you're gonna try and get away with these things. This, uh, it is a fight at the end of the day. And all's fair in love and war. I believe it was the Raiders that said, if you're not cheating, you're not trying. On the legs when you can. I'm Keep not sure the people I at you. would agree with you right <laughs> now, Dan. <laughs> yeah, but I, I like, you know, the, these, you, you've got to try these things. You've got to try and find ways into the fight. The, the corner's getting involved. Yeah. The psychological warfare before the fight. It builds a picture. It builds a story, a narrative around what's going on in the octagon. There's drama in these in these main events. And that's what we want to see. You ready? Bring it on. What's interesting is that Leon was immediately distracted and looked at the referee. So Cowboy knows that he's not entirely focused, partly probably because he feels very comfortable in there, but partly because Cowboy is getting inside his head a little bit. You know, the, the team have already got a reaction out of him. Oh, beautiful work from Leon Edwards. The left hand found a home. Edwards switching up his stances, looking to counter the attacks. Oh, Cowboy who comes through with that signature attack that he does so well, switching up the levels. This, this is what he was doing against Robbie Lawler. He was waiting for that first attack, especially if he knows someone that's got that single punch knockout power. He waits for them to throw. He allows them to get that first shot out, and then he follows them back with a flurry and punishes them for it. And that shows now that, that Cowboy's confidence is on the rise. Like I said, the later in this fight it gets, the more comfortable Cowboy feels. He's a slow starter, oh, nice as is Leon Edwards. We haven't seen Edwards over five rounds, but he's been doing a lot of work with velocity, building some good scientific data. It's a place that Anthony Joshua visits, so he's in good hands. Nice feint of the body kick there from Leon Edwards, showing Cowboy his intentions, seeing what his reaction's gonna be. Edwards happy to work on the outside. At the moment, Danny started off the fight very much commanding oh, the center of the octagon. What an uppercut from Cowboy! There again, a nice combination using the body and the head as a target. Great punching combinations from Cowboy, but that uppercut was a stinger. Really, really good work straight through the guard. Again, the variety in Cowboy's attack just shows how long he's been contending for. Again, the single shot, and he chases it back again. Would you class Cowboys a momentum fighter, Dan? Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. And interestingly, he, he starts off with very little momentum in the fight and, and needs it to build over the fight, which is why a lot of people like to try and catch him cold, like to try and put the pressure on early. But Leon Edwards also, he's, he's not really a quick starter. Obviously, he's got the eight-second knockout over Seth Bajinski, but the majority of his fights, he, he's into the third round before he does his best work. Now we're into the third round, knowing he's got two more two more rounds to go. Let's see if he steps the pace up here or he saves it for the the, uh, the championship rounds, as we call them, the main event rounds in this in this circumstance. It would be a maiden voyage into the fourth round for Leon Edwards as Cowboy shoots in once more. So much experience behind him, Dan Fort for the WEC lightweight title twice. I know I keep referencing the Robbie Lawler fight, but that was Cowboy against a, a southpaw that's, that's very fast and very powerful like Leon Edwards. Now Leon switched to orthodox, giving Cowboy a different look. But a lot of the time when Cowboy is, is breaking the clinch on his terms, he's the one that's landing the elbows. As of right now, he's initiating the clinch, but it's Leon Edwards that's breaking it and landing the elbows. Again, initiates, but watch this. Does Leon Edwards break the clinch with an elbow again? Or is Cowboy gonna take the initiative? Again, there with the elbow from Leon Edwards. 2017 wasn't the best year in Cowboy's career. 2016 was outstanding, but he's back on track in 2018 with that round one TKO over Yancy Medeiros. 
Will he be able to extend that and make history tonight here in Singapore? John Gooden with Dan Hardy in commentary. Some talking going on in the clinch here. I'd like to know what was said between the two fighters. There's been plenty said this week already. Head kicks thrown. I expect Leon Edwards to start shrinking out the way of that and punishing Cowboy for it. Well, Edwards set his stand out early and just kind of said after their media rounds that we're not going to be friends. I, you know, you're going to take everything that I want, potentially. So I don't know how we're going to be friends. And that, that was the end of that. But Cowboy really took umbrage to it. And we've seen the reaction since. Edwards with a little flair. Hands down, hands wide. Oh, nice counter. That was nice. Very fast. That got Cowboy's attention. Oh, but he stayed in the pocket there. Took one to the gut. He Last 10 seconds. He loves a fist fight, does Cowboy. Sometimes it doesn't go his way. But he still loves the tussle. Yeah. The ultimate gunslinger inside the octagon. Good, that was our round. That's what we want, take him into the deep waters. Here we are. Here we are. Combinations are looking good. Keep this eye shoot for Listen. Let's finish low, let's finish high. I feel like although Cowboy started strong, he's starting to find his way back into this fight a little bit. He's landing some good shots. Look at this uppercut, beautiful work. Just glanced off the chin of Leon Edwards. But it's the, it's the elbows breaking the clinch that are really affecting Cowboy the most. Good work by Leon Edwards. His confidence is still there, but Cowboy is now starting to find his rhythm. He's just trying to counter. Be smart on your entries. You see that left hand coming. Keep your head movement, stay disciplined. Let's have some fun. Take this fight over. These late rounds, Cowboy. Thank you, Red. Round number four. This is new territory for Leon ready? Edwards in the UFC. Southpaw versus Orthodox. What did you take from the messages between the rounds, Dan? I, I think the Cowboy Corner feels like that this is where he now starts to come into his own, taking him into deep waters. That this is familiar territory for Cowboy many, many times over as he, as he pushed into these later rounds. He, he's, a, he's a very, very uh, tough individual, and he gets tougher as the fight goes on. But as we said, you know, he, he starts kind of slow, but now the momentum's starting to shift a little bit. But Rocky Edwards is not at all discouraged. Oh! Just missed the head kick there. But certainly Cowboy is more comfortable in the later rounds than he is early. First fighter to be awarded bonus checks in all four categories. Leon Edwards actually responding to his corner there, vocally speaking to his corner. He does that a lot in sparring, actually. Very tuned in to his corner, taking instruction. Good kick catch. A very, uh, very Muay Thai stance he keeps, he keeps slipping into, does Edwards. Stands high with his arms up. Good inside low kick from Cowboy. Edwards with a win here is oh. looking to encourage the UFC to go back to Birmingham. He once watched Vaughan Lee compete for Birmingham in the UFC many years ago. He would like to bring the UFC back to Brum on his terms. Come on, gentlemen, keep it clean in the clinch, both of you. Wrist control over. Nice feint by Leon Edwards there. They're, they're striking oh. distance down, aren't they? They've both so got quick. Such appetizing striking styles, a real vocabulary of strikes between them. You've got to think with all the incredible strikers in, in the welterweight division at the moment, there are so many fun matchups to watch. No matter who wins, nice, one, two. Short range, not a great deal of power in it, but enough to upset the balance of Cowboy and take away that low kick attempt. Of course, Leon Edwards called out Darren Till after his last victory inside the octagon. It didn't come, but I'm sure Darren is watching tonight.
Leon Edwards desperate to find his way up into the, the top echelon of the, the division. Start challenging names like that. But anybody that gets into the top division has to go to a guy like Cowboy, usually Cowboy. <laughs> You can see the confidence now. Cowboy's starting to push forward even more. Starting to draw the fight out of Leon Edwards. Oh, that's a really quick left hand there from Edwards. Nice knee as well. Same knee that caused the damage to the eye. Cowboy with the pressure against the fence. Going to try and take some of that power out of the legs. That was a really nice knee from, the, uh, from Cowboy there to the, to the middle of the thigh of Leon Edwards. Oh, went for an outside reach. Cowboy's balance was able to save him. And now Cowboy's in the top position trying to keep Leon Edwards down. Let's see if he goes for that wrist to try and strip his base away. 120 on the clock as Edwards gets back to his feet, just celebrated by his corner. But nice tight pressure here from Cowboy on the break. Once again, Edwards with that elbow. A little bloody discharge from the mouth of Cowboy on that break as well. Once again, yeah, you hear Dave Lavelle and Leon Edwards almost having a conversation. Oh, look at this from Cowboy. That was good work. He's starting to get impatient now. He doesn't like these waiting games. That He's come eye for is a troubling fight. Cowboy, Dan. He it is wiping at it. Fortunately, it's not running into his eye, but he, he is conscious of it. He really doesn't like these stalemates where they stand and stare at each other. Again, Edwards clearly here in his corner and responding. Everyone here in the Singapore Indoor Stadium are on the edges of their seats, waiting for one of these big strikes to do some serious damage. Last few seconds. Time, gentlemen. It's going to stop. Now go around. Let's see how exactly Cowboy's corner coaching him through this. Fifth round right here, brother. Fucking leaving it all in here. I couldn't be prouder of you right now. Good breasts. Fucking climbing that mountain on that bike right now. You got that mountain air in your lungs. Give me a few good breasts. There we go. One more. Yo, we're tied up on rounds. Let's go win this motherfucker. Yeah, Winning this shit on pace go. alone. Come on, Rush. Last round. He's gonna get desperate and he's gonna give all he's got. He's <laughs> coming in square. He's coming in square he's so you can catch him with the leading backhand. Come on there, Rocky. Go to you. Go to you. Come on, Rocky. This is the final round here in final. our main event. You ready to fight? You ready to fight? A touch of gloves there. Cowboy said, oh, thank you. About time. <laughs> Cowboys corner feels like it's all to play for in this round. They feel like they're tied up on rounds, as they said. You've got that mountain air in your lungs. Beautiful visualization there for Cowboys. Something I'm sure that he's thought about a lot during this training camp when he's going to need that oxygen the most. Where is it going to be? His conditioning looks excellent, as it always does. Mouth closed, breathing calm, as is Leon Edwards. Oh, he's oh. An, an incredible athlete, is Cerrone. I was watching back some of his videos that had me thinking he could win American Ninja Warrior tomorrow, if you like, after this fight as well. Such an athlete. I, I love the relationship between Cowboy and his striking coach, uh, uh, Brandon Gibson. It, it's just it, it's so beautiful to hear them interact in the corner. I'm so, I couldn't be prouder of you now, leaving yeah. it all in there, you know. He knows how to press his buttons. Yeah, absolutely. These guys ride into battle together every time. They, they, they roll as a unit, and there's so much ritual that goes, goes into these fights, you know, matching belt buckles, the, the same hat for every time. He always brings out murder for the fight. <laughs> it's important to Cowboy to set that professionalism as well for the rest of the sport. That was partly why he started up the BMF ranch to show other fighters Another way to live. He teaches them life skills. He does. By changing a tire. 
He does. He's very much a father figure to a lot, a lot of young fighters. I remember Jason Knight, ahead of his fight at UFC Liverpool, was talking about how that week had had such a big impact on him as a fighter. Spending time around Cowboy and, and the coaches that they've got at the BMF ranch. And yet on the other side, Leon Edwards is the guy in Birmingham. No one from Birmingham has ever fought as high as a main event in the UFC. He right. has that whole town behind him, that city behind him. His mum took him down to the UTC when he was a young man and he's never looked back and he wants to repay her. Cowboy trying to pressure. Leon Edwards moving into the last half of the final round. Stated clearly earlier this week that he wants to finish. He needs to finish in order to get where he wants to go. Does that put pressure on him to take risks? Very difficult fight to score. Concentrating so hard on this, Dan, it's hard to kind of recall what happened in the earlier rounds. Edwards doesn't look like he's really exerting himself too much, Dan, which suggests to me he's got plenty left in the tank. Absolutely. I wonder whether he's going to look back on this fight and feel like he... Oh, nice again. He's looking for that sniper shot. He's looking for that finishing move. Sometimes it's volume that's going to do the, do the damage. Double underhooks for Cowboy. Can he get a takedown? The takedown here would be massive at this stage of the fight. Edwards battling hard to maintain his balance and keep that hook on the inside of Cowboy's right thigh. Nicely done, Big nice. Cowboy drags it down to the canvas. One minute 30, Edwards on his back. The toughness and tenacity of Cowboy is inspiring. He knows he needs to be just busy enough to keep the referee from standing them up. Edwards posts out. Don't the cage, Rocky, thank you. He gets to his knee. Very nicely done there by Rocky. Now he's got to fight back hard. Last minute. He is down this round. As you said earlier, Dan, Cowboy loves the later rounds. He's so good at pacing himself. Leon Edwards is looking to set up that finishing shot. Cowboy was so pleased oh. to come out to Asia, a place where he used to fight at the drop of a hat back in the day, just for the love of it. Last 20 seconds. Who can leave a real impression on the judges' scorecards? Okay, they point to the centre. Here they go. Hold on. Watch your heads, watch your heads. Last few seconds. Time, gentlemen. And that is the end of the contest. And after all of that, they embrace. An excellent fight, an excellent effort from both fighters. <laughs> Really, really impressive just to see them push so hard until the end. Cowboy opened up in that first round and the cut made worse from successive elbows breaking the clinch. Big smile on the face of Cowboy, now the pressure's off. Win or lose, he got a lot of respect. I can't repeat exactly what Cowboy says, but he says he loves his job with an expellative in there. This is why no, the fans love him. Exactly, and you can see it, Dan. You can see it in the way he fights, despite the damage early. So look at this knee. That was the thing that opened up the cut early on Cowboy, and that was a bad cut that he got to fight for another, you know, four and a half rounds with. Edwards did a good job of breaking the clinch with elbows, but he, he waited for the perfect shot. He did a lot of good work early, but then Cowboy started to come on strong later on. He got a couple of takedowns, even though he was hurt with the body shots, with the knee, with the, the fast hands of Leon Edwards. Cowboy never stopped pushing. He found a window of opportunity a few times. He did excellent work all the way through the fight and just showed veteranship all the way through. But Leon Edwards, he's definitely a contender for this division. Win or lose tonight, both of these guys leave with a lot of respect.
So let's take a look at the fight stats then. Leon Edwards with more head strikes, but the variety there from Donald Cerrone targeting the body. More leg strikes for Leon Edwards. This is a difficult one really to read into with those stats. I'm getting some more information as well, but it's the first time since 2009 that Cowboy has gone five rounds. Okay, the wait is over. Let's get it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score this contest, 48-47, for the winner by unanimous decision, Leon Rocky Edwards. Okay, I'm gonna speak to both of these fighters, but first of all, please make some noise. What an absolute war that was, Cowboy. You have everybody's respect in here. Please don't leave just yet. Oh. Oh, I love my job. I'm not going anywhere, man. This old dog still got a lot of fights left. I just want to say thank you for Cowboy for giving me the opportunity. I looked up to him as a young kid, and it's an honor for me to fight him in here tonight. And thank you. Thank you. So you guys duped it out for five rounds. Was, was that as tough as you expected it to be? You said I can't go five rounds. I'll go five rounds with ease. So, what I'm saying, Sean Shelby, UFC Birmingham, me, Masvidal, let's go, make it happen. Is that the fight we want next, Jorge Masvidal? Is there a reason for that? Not really, he's the same kind of style as Cowboy, so I love to take out his old guns and keep chipping away, so I want to push for that UFC Birmingham card and hopefully I can get him back to Birmingham, my home city. I got B, I got Tom Breeze, I got my brother Fabian Edwards, he's Bama, world champion, so let's make that happen. Were there any surprises from Cowboy? He's, he's very adaptable and he's a real, real wily veteran. Were you surprised at anything tonight? I'm um, not really. Like I said, I'm watching the man from a kid. So I knew everything that he does. Old dog don't change, change his spots, you know what I mean? So, like I said though, thank you to Cowboy for giving me the opportunity to come in here and face a legend like Cowboy, so thank you. Well, I hope you get the Masvidal fight. A great performance, congratulations. Biggest win of your career. Let's have a word with this guy. What a superstar. Cowboy, I mean, you love this job. I can see it's been beaming off you all week. What is it about this that you love so much? How could you not love that? Oh my God. Uh, it's like a sickness I have. And I was sick, like literally sick all day, couldn't get out of bed. So for me to come in here and I told my coaches, man, I don't feel like going in there tonight. And uh, I've never felt like that ever. But uh, that's no excuse. I came in here and fought my ass off like I always do. And uh, I fucking love this shit, man. Love it, love it, love it. I don't think anything else needs to be said. Ladies and gentlemen, just make some noise. Donald Cowboy Cerrone. Well, congratulations to both Warriors for a, an exceptional performance there inside the Octagon, but the night belongs to that man, Leon Rocky Edwards, the man from Birmingham who came over to Singapore after calling for a fight against one of the biggest names, if not the biggest name at the moment in the sport, Donald Cowboy Cerrone, is just such a big figure. Might not just be for his achievements inside the Octagon Den, but his personality just expands that of the Octagon. Such a big personality. He fought the fans for this one as well, Dan. He came away with the victory. He did. He's a, a massive feather in his cap. Not quite as nice as the feathers in Cowboy's cap, perhaps, but uh, a great performance from Leon Edwards, a measured performance. I'm sure even with the win, he's going to look back on this and, and wish he got the finish. He's going to see those opportunities that he created for himself early in the fight. But a credit to Cowboy. He's just so tough and durable and adaptable. And you can't discourage him, even when you start with a big round and open up a big cut like that. Cowboy is always going to come back stronger.